Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today, we have a short Fusion 360 tutorial in how to add a decal. Now, what is a decal? A decal is like a sticker that you're putting onto your 3D model, sorry. Um, and it's really, really useful, especially if you're gonna be rendering, if you're gonna try creating a little bit more realistic um, feel, if you have, let's say, graphics or decals um, that you wanna be adding onto your model. In this case, we have a mug. It's just a little guy I modeled up for this. And all right, so for this tutorial, we are going to go to insert and then decal. You can have um, images saved to your project folders in Autodesk. I don't have any, they're all on my computer. So I'm gonna insert from my computer. And I'm actually gonna go on off the screen to my other screen so you can see that I am not showing you all of my boring files. And we're gonna select one. And for the face, we need to select the face. Let's just put it right where it should go. And you can see I have this nice little cute little sticker. So we're gonna actually grow it or um, scale it up. So we're gonna click on this corner and just drag right there and we'll rotate it as well. We can also move it around with this, um, this square right here, just grabbing it. We also have the capability of flipping it vertically, flipping it horizontally as well as we can scale it left and right, um, as well as up and down. Um, with other options we have, we also have the opacity and how we can control that. Opacity, for those who don't know, is how clear or how see-through something is. And so if we drop the opacity, you can see it decreases um, It's how solid it is, I guess. Um, whereas if we increase it, it becomes more solid. We're just gonna grow it a little bit bigger. Yeah, maybe too big. That's what happens when you get a designer. All right, so we can also change where it is in terms of the X, the Y, the angle. Uh, all of these things are what we can do with these toggles right here. If you need something very specific, it's really nice to be able to do it on the side or even just in these areas right, on this, um, right next to your different options. The last thing we have though is our chain faces. That is just asking, do we wanna be putting the sticker on one face, a specific face that we selected, or on all of the faces that are connected to that face, which currently it is. And you can tell that it is because I got a whole party of stickers on the inside of my mug. Uh, so obviously that's not what I want. So we'll click on the chain face and it gets rid of all of the excess stickers to leave just the one right there. And there you go. To kind of give you an example of um, what it'll look like if you were to render something like this, um, I have a, a rendered image right here. So you can see that it still just works as if it was just like printed um, or manufactured on the object. Uh, really, really fun stuff. I love rendering. I love being able to make things look a little bit more realistic. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about rendering, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Uh, I, I definitely want to be doing some more videos on rendering. Fusion 360 has a great um, great setup for, for being a free program. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you have any other comments for this feature or any others, I'd love to hear it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and you can keep getting updates on when I'm making these tutorials. And as always, I just want to tell you, keep modeling. So we'll see you. Bye.